My name is Sherry Lillian Rutandaro. Mpitiwa Sherry Lillian Rutandaro. I feel it has been a date for me not to testify about the goodness of God. I started coming to the Kakande Ministries when I was a student at Makere University. When I was doing my master's at Makere University, I continued coming here. But one thing, brethren, I didn't know how to tithe. I didn't think it was important. So I managed to get small jobs. But in 2018, my contract ended. When it ended, that is when it hit me that I need to go back to where I saw a God of miracles. In May 2018, I came here in the Kakande Ministries. My prayer request was an international position. And when I was mentioning to one of the sisters, I mentioned I need to start handling only international currency. It had to be United States dollars. It had to be a Swiss uh, pound. It had to be euros. So when I came here, the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakandi, he touched on my forehead. And I felt it was done. Brethren, I want to assure you, my life changed. I didn't look for a job. As I was home, I received a call from South Sudan for an international position. And the document is here. Uh, it reads Lacha Community and Economic Development. It is written to Lillian Rutandaro Sherry. It is for a monitoring and evaluation officer to be based in South Sudan. And this is a UN funded organization. And here is me, my first flight. You can see me, I was timid going for my first international position. That is when God started using me as a vessel to reach out to his people. But even when I was in Sudan, South Sudan, I received another email from France. It is sent to me, it is saying, I'm contacting you as you were part of the FSL. FSL is Food Security and Livelihoods. Action Against Hunger France. And the question was, are you available for emergency deployment? Quickly mobilized for short periods of time. That is when I realized God has started his work in me. And it took a few days, and I received a contract. A contract comes from Action Contre la Feim. Contre la Feim in English is Action Against Hunger, and it is written to Lillian Sherry Rutandaro to go and work as a cash expert. I had never worked as a cash expert, not even in the bank. But here is France wanting Sherry Lillian, who has been anointed and prayed for by the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kekande, to go and handle their cash. And these are photos of me in France. It was winter. This is me. God had transformed me. After working for a year, Action Control Afeim wrote to Bangladesh for Sherry Lillian again to go and support their missions in Southeast Asia. And here is a letter to Sherry Lillian being written to the ambassador who is called the Excellency to approve my N visa. I went to Bangladesh and I was working as a head of department taking on three countries. That is Bangladesh, Bangladesh Myanmar, Myanmar, and Afghanistan. And, Afghanistan. and this is me in Bangladesh, and in Bangladesh, in a place called Cox Bazaar, which, Cox Bazaar, which is surrounded by water. God transformed my life. There was a financial breakthrough in my life. I started receiving contracts. 
But most importantly, brethren, every time I would get vacation, mine was always Uganda. Because I wanted to come and construct for God. I wanted to come and tithe. And I thought it was time for me to give thanks to God. God has been so good to me. And it's because of that that I have been able to reach here. But more importantly, the prayers of man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande. And my commitment with God to build and to give my offering without taking anything from his offering and tithing. This is a contract from World Food Program. It is addressed to Rutandaro Lillian Sherry to work as a consultant. I received my UN card. This is me going to one of the locations with the United Nations humanitarian plane. I thank God. God has been so merciful to me. He has been so good to me. I have received my financial breakthrough. I have done a lot, brethren. After the prayers of the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande, and when I learned the power of tithing and constructing for God, God has constructed for me a house. Entebbe Road. And this is the side view. For Jesus. And it's a big plot. That is my car. I can drive any car I want. But because I'm never in the country, so I keep it at the least. So that I also support other people. This is me in my small dining. And this is my sitting room. Because of the prayers of man of God, in this plot, I've been able to put apartments for myself. I had adopted a young girl who came to work as a maid. But she was very young. I constructed for her for rentals. Along the way, I also had adopted another baby girl. I took her on when she was two months. I even breastfed her. So I also bought for her land in Kajansi and put for her four rentals. I bought land for my son. And I managed to construct for him rentals. Thank you, Jesus. So we continued believing in God and fulfilling his promises. Tithing, and by then we had started constructing our church. We committed ourselves to construct for God. I bought land for my daughter. She's called Ahereza Makaira Triana. And I also constructed for her rentals. There are six units. Units Mukaga. I grew up with a single mother. I went to the village and told them to identify a place. I construct for them a house. My parents' home. And before my mother retired, she was a nurse. Because of the sacrifices of a single mother, she never achieved her dream. I managed to build for her six units rentals. <laughs> Brethren, God has been so good to me. I still have other projects under construction, which I hope next year, by this time, I should be booked for this place. This is one of the projects. It's almost completed. And you can see the view. It is a commercial house. And it's already booked for. I want to thank God. I want to thank the man of God. 
Prophet Samuel Kakande. For your endless prayers. Bless you, everyone.